I'm going to tell you a story. I know I already started a video like that this week, but trust me, this is a different story. I started my YouTube channel on October 15th. Yeah, October 15th, 2015. The first little bit there, I was making videos by just screen recording my computer or shooting videos on my phone with my computer webcam and uh, uploading those. They were really bad. Christmas of 2015, I got two things for Christmas. Actually, three things. I got a Blue Yeti microphone, which was a huge thing for me at the time. I had no microphones of my own, so that was big. It broke. And I got an Elgato Game Capture HD 60. Yes. This thing is so old that it lists on the back that it's Windows 8 compatible. Look at this, like, silhouette of a dude they have in the face cam. Weird. Remember, I wanted it so bad because it was the Glacier White Edition. These are kind of rare. It's so old that it still has the old Elgato logo. And buying this product, or receiving it as a gift, started my lifelong love of Elgato gaming products. Elgato, great company for your capture needs. I would always recommend, if you're getting a capture card, I would recommend going Elgato. I'm about to explain to you why. This worked great for a great many years. I recorded many, many videos on this. But the main problem with this, this was before the capture cards worked in OBS, which is my current recording solution. And I had started speedrunning Resident Evil games, and I need to have my splits listed up with the, uh, alongside the gameplay when I was streaming live. The only way I could do that was if I had my video going to OBS. And so I went on Amazon and I purchased the cheapest capture card I could find. This is the Avermedia Live Gamer Mini. It is very tiny, even next to the already like card deck sized Elgato, it is even tinier. And I would have loved this thing. It's so nice, it's so compact, it feels pretty well built, it doesn't feel cheap. It always had some problem, some problem or another. It was either audio desync or the fact that the color quality of it was kind of bad. It had this weird green hue on everything. You can see it in a lot of my videos. I, I color correct it in most of them, but you can see it in a lot of my videos that I don't, that there's this weird kind of greenish hue to stuff that doesn't look that way on the actual monitor. It has audio desync over HDMI that gets worse as time goes on. I've emailed Avermedia support about this. They replied to me with an email that was entirely written in Chinese. Yeah, I honestly have no idea. I can't recommend Avermedia products, unfortunately, because just had such a terrible experience with this one. I tried to sell it, didn't work. When I started making videos consistently again after the Doom video blew up, I went back to using this thing. Reluctantly, I really don't like it. Now, its problems have compounded to the point that I cannot bear it. Every video when I take the RAWs out has this ugly green tint to it, and the audio desync, I have to do a ton of editing to make sure it doesn't become noticeable as the video goes on. It sucks. I start a new job this week, which means for the first time in a long time, I have some sort of income, which means new Elgato capture card. This can capture HDR, it works over USB 3, it's huge. This thing could only support up to 1080p 60. No HDR basically didn't exist at this point. The main reason I stopped using this one recently is because I was editing a one-shot video and there's a part where the window goes small and just the bit rate of the raw file coming off of this looks so bad. There's so much color banding. I'm hoping that this will be better. It should be better. I would be really disappointed if it wasn't better. <laughs> Open it up. This is not an unboxing video, by the way. I'm just I'm just pointing out that I have this now. So this is a lot bigger than, uh, it's, is it bigger? I can't tell. No, it's actually about the same size. Yeah, it's about the same size as the old one. I mean, I guess there's nothing to it other than just plug this in and go nuts, I guess. I'm gonna do a short little test by shooting a little bit of footage on the old capture card, and then I'm gonna plug in the new one and show you how much better it looks. Or maybe it won't look any better at all and I've just wasted my money, who knows? Okay, so I guess the best way to do it initially would be to place this up on screen and um, demonstrate like how that looks compared to, I can edit this exact image in with no compression on it just to show you how this affects things. It's so, it's so bad looking, I don't know why it does that. I notice that the effect is most strong in games that are like, have a lot of strong colors in them, like Repentance or something like that, so. Here, I'll just I'll just do the same the same thing a couple times just to um, demonstrate. Okay, and now we get to the new the new one. Okay, here we are back in the saddle again. One thing that I can notice that I don't know if it's immediately present on the video is that the um, actual like quality of the image on my monitor now is a lot better. Like 
it was fine before. Also, did I just spawn in a room with a planetarium? Hold on, I might actually want to continue this run. I can just see immediately on my monitor how much more color accurate it is. I'll, I'll give like a little side by side just to demonstrate. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's color accurate. The blacks are black as they should be. It looks correct. Thanks for watching this video. I actually don't know if I'm gonna upload it to the main channel. I might upload it to the second channel, but yeah, there we go. Better HDMI quality, better, better, better capture card quality. It just, it just looks better. Like I don't, maybe it's placebo effect. I don't think it is. It looks better. In any case, thanks for watching. Appreciate it greatly. Uh, trans rights, and I'll see y'all later.